Hello everybody, I just want you to rotate the device. Hello everybody, I'm Tommy Trigger. Welcome to my birthday, my birthday jam. Uh, I'm Dark Soul, we present this. This is going to be one of the last live shows we do for a while. We're going to start trying to focus on getting ready to do some little venues and just a few things to try to promote our stuff. And then what we really want to do is write. We're writers, but somebody's got to sing the shit, so here I am. You know what? I've never done this before, but I think I'm going to do it because it's, you know, well, it's my birthday. I'm 61 years old. I've been around for a long time, and it's, you know, my days are numbered. So here we go. I'm going to give a bio about all the musical, my musical journey. It's been pretty weird. It's been pretty cool. I've met some great people, awesome people. Uh, Bill Belts, uh, I got turned on to Kay Williams' music and some of his work, and, and, and I could go on and on, Jeremy Chambers, uh, Nick Belts, uh, you know, Chris Bass, Glass, some of the great musicians I've got to jam and work with, Dan, uh, Piano Dan, he's dead now, this is Dan. So this is a song, uh, I wrote in a pawn shop on a church organ, and uh, <laughs> I was drinking some tea, at Orange County Pond, and uh, thank God for the Belts family, but uh, anyway, when you write a song, you you, you, you got to rehearse it, so this is one that uh, I usually play a lot, and I open with this a lot. This is off, we're going to do some work off the first album, the first album we're going to we ever release, we do this one. We started a lot of this work at Orange County Pond uh, under the direction of Bill, William Belts, Bill Belts Sr., uh, Nicholas Belts was our bass player and sound man, right man. Jeremy Chang was a wonderful guitar. And Chris Bass Class, obviously the whole family. General Polk. I dedicate this song to you, if you ever see it. Um, all this work, I'll go into it uh, just briefly, and then we're going to go. We're going to do two sets, probably up to 20 songs. Ten, uh, we're going to work uh, our first two albums here. So right now we're working off my first album, The Tommy Krieger Project. Really influenced by the Belts family. A lot of this stuff was wrote Southern women. This song here, dedicated to Hope Belts, is Mr. Lovecraft. <laughs> Thank you. 
birthday of me, happy birthday, uh, you're the biggest gift, so if anybody out here watching me, I want to thank you for any support you gave me, uh, all the great you know, friends I've met, and give me good compliments, All right, this song is, uh, again, another thing is off my uh, Tommy Krieger Project album, uh, this song is called The Recluse, most of my life I've lived a, a pretty sheltered life, uh, self-sheltered. It's pretty self-explanatory. Some people call it a different uh, title of this song. Uh, Darth Vader's creeping up on here. So we'll spin in back. All right, this song is called The Recluse. <clears throat> Always does that when I'm using these. Uh, I'm using nine strings. Way too thin. I'll never use them again. But bear with me. Let's do it together. All right. Any musician that is trying to play multiple instruments here, and it's pretty hard to do them. Now, anyway, there's no excuses when you uh, you're going live. Uh, I dedicate this uh, to all you guys. This is kind of a little biography about the Recluse. Stuck outside. There's people around me. I still know. This is crazy. I'm like, yeah, damn me. If I was more for me, I'd have to let you in. These two holes, they're gone. I'm 
Here in the second half, one for a good friend of mine, and uh, we just wrote up from called the Legacy Label. Yeah, we're going to be playing that in the second set. All right, so again, we'll, right now we're working on the first set. So I want to dedicate this whole thing to the Belts family and everybody who's a member of uh, my band. Uh, when we first started, we were the Dead Monkey Project, and we found out that there was a group in uh, Scott or something that has a name, so we just went, hell, I'm writing the name, so. Jeremy didn't like it, but uh, hey, Jeremy, I love you, but you're number one. And I'm number two. All right, so we're going to do a kind of a, I don't know, medley, so to speak. We're going to go with the Osferatu, and we're going to go uh, medley on Nicky uh, on my back. So we're just going to see how this works out. I've never tried to do this. We're going to get to fail. Uh, this song is about, uh, I opened up with, me and my cousin were, uh, uh, having a smoke break in the tallest building in downtown Los Angeles. Yeah. And along the rooftops come a dancing, this beautiful, black leather, white skinned vampire leading the dude around on a leash. So, it's pretty, it's pretty wild night. Anyway, this song's called Nosferatu, Monkey on My Back. <laughs> Thank you. 
Also an ego habit, I have to see that. And again, I want to thank everybody from the Orange County Pond, uh, Rambo, the Belts family, and everybody included uh, in this first project. And you guys all made this happen. Uh, we wrote this all together. And, uh, so we're going to close it up with two. This is the first song I ever wrote. This song is. Uh, I was my brother. Uh, no, I want to thank uh, my, uh, my uh, executive director and editor, Tatiana Taylor. Uh, pretty Miss Taylor is uh, responsible for a lot of the stuff we're doing here. I want to thank her very much. I love her very much. She's, my, she's a pleasure and a treasure in my life. So, and I love her very much. Okay. I touch him. I that was all wrong. That's all I wrote to do. So anyway, this song, I wrote for my brother back in the right now, 70s. This song is called, If I Only Owned a Harley. So here we go. To own the back of my dream. 
Hey boys, I'll tell you what to get If you want some serious food in town Some back out of Davidson Some American name The coffee gets that hell No sugar to be made If I only own the heart Is that politically correct? I don't know. I guess what? I don't care. As for you, Robbie and Jay, we know what this place is coming to. Hey, you can't even get in and express your opinions. The damn buggers. All right, that was some work off my, uh, which will be my first release. So. Again, look, every album I think I've done except my last one. I had some work by all my boys down from, you know, down from French Lake. So they've been a big presence in my musical, uh, past musical uh, work. Jeremy, I got the pleasure of jamming with him a little bit. And I was still building up. Uh, now I think I'm back in my game. I think my playing is showing up today. All the shitty turn all the shitty shows that you guys whipped up through. Uh, well, hopefully this is my payoff. Anyway, all right, so I missed around. I was 50 years old. I've never been married, so I got married. Wonderful woman. I love you. You're a great wife. I was a bad husband. <clears throat> never cheated, but I don't know. How do you explain that? Don't flirt with chicks on the internet. I guess it's cheating. I don't think it is so clear. Anyway, uh, so I got married, all right? And tried all that stuff for a while. Uh, so I was, uh, we got to got started getting into the Christian town called Kingdom, so I started this is some really good, you know, Christian rock music. So, so what happens when you get so uh anyway I started out writing this uh, as a Christian rock album. Um hence the white master fate, actually it's a shot of a lot of people who go to church and you know, the, the face from the outside of their personal lives, you know, it's all gravy, it's all gravy and all that rock. But, they're, uh, you know, uh, they don't practice what they preach, right? So, but anyway, we just started out with White Master Faith. And again, I was like, you know, I was like, I got married for the first time. I, I 
that's you know, uh, and Heather family, which I love all of them very much. Hi, all of you guys who wasting your time watching. And, and, you know, see. another thing about when you're 61, it's hard to see um, stuff. 29, I think that'll work. It. Okay. Yeah, this song, um, uh, I think is one of my masterpieces. So it's very hard to play. Um, Acapella, you know, I'm doing because there's no excuses. I think it'll make it sound pretty good. I mean, a good song sounds good. That's right. Now, baby, we lost all of our phone connection. But you can still hear my voice. Thank God for Miss TT, Princess Baby. <laughs> you your monkey taking care of daddy. All right, is everything still uh, going on? Okay. So, after this uh, album, or this uh uh, I'm just gonna stop. Um, we're gonna go on a 30 minute break. Uh, please come back for the second half. I think the second half, I got some stuff I'm gonna de dedicate to my son, to a great friend of mine named Jay, and to uh, a sister of mine, and a mate of mine, and my girlfriend. Uh, I'm gonna throw a little new twist on that. We're gonna close out the first set with my White Mouse of Faith album. Uh, I got married, I had stepkids. This is my best. Most listened to album by about 4,000 hits, unbelievably. So, this is my most uh, popular album. Numerically, I think. But anyway, the first song I'm going to play, well, it's about everybody's favorite guy. You know, hey, man. Genesis, the creation. Here we go.
search with a man, now in the edge. And give him room for the creatures of the So, Becky, if you're watching, 
I'll always love you. And we're good, you're a great mate. Uh, just, we just, you know, at that time, we lost everybody in our world, so. Um, so, um, we're going to cut this down in two seconds, but we're still working on the white mask of faith. So we're going to kind of go see this a little bit quicker. Um, this song is called Cory. There's an angel in <laughs>
I'll show you real quick. Okay. All right, what up, buddy? I've got them laid out over here, so we're in white order, please. But don't disrupt me. What are we doing now? Wait till it's not until you do after the chat. No. Oh, okay. After the chat and the dark rat start, started okay. off, and then I, I already got it down here. Right. So, so that's your best time. You'll allow me. Uh, I will now. Do yeah. another melody, I think. Uh, this one's going to be uh, a song. I am your number one, too. Uh, it's called Release Me. The bondage of your love. Uh, we're going to melody that into wild green apple wine. This ought to be fun. All right. So, release me from the bondage of your love. Melody. Wild green apple wine. After the breakup, Brandy began seeing Michael Knight's relationship didn't last long, but they were making friends. Just like Knight's friend, Knight was still in love. You could say Brandy is in the middle of the night. Off and on, she went to the parks because he they abused him. There's a song in my ears. But it won't come out loud. We wish we said my nothing. Tell me why he killed me. Get so lonely. Thank you. 
This song, I don't know. You say people, you hear them say, well, I want to kill myself. And, uh, you know, does anybody really do that? There are times I think subconsciously I did. And I was talking about the sweet of the living Anybody that's ever went to that other special place knows what the sweet of living is. And if you don't know what it is, uh, when we're done with the song, I think you will. Um, this is an accompanied piano song. We'll have no guitar in this song. So, here with me. I've had to do a lot of piano uh, work because this piano does not play itself. You must play this damn piano. So, you can't cheat on it. I tried. The sucker would not let me do it. So, this song. Uh, so, uh, at the end of the first album, I was just hell, I couldn't get uh, my ears blocked. So, what did I do? Uh, I'm stupid. Well, I started, uh, you know, talking stuff to, you know, talk to God and all that. <laughs> I don't know. The, uh, the addictive brain, the depressing mind working every time. Anyway, I have to cry for help. Uh, again, it's so predatory. Uh, I think if, if you listen to my work, uh, you're going to see it's uh, kind of a biology in my life. So, wherever I'm singing about at this point in my life, I was probably there. Anyway, this song is called Sweet Sweet So here we go, this is piano work. Uh, a song off the whiteness of fate. And uh, my one of my top fifteen songs that I've been listening to is Sweet Oblivion. Uh, 
to my son Tommy Krieger. This song will be off the Dark Soul album and it's called Shadows of the Dark Web. Let's see. How do you, how do you pop it? <laughs> 